All right, guys. Good afternoon. Let's talk about the pro vaxxers. They want amnesty now. Like they want to say, "Oh, sorry, sorry, we put you guys through hell in the last two years." Uh, fuck you. I said it. Fuck you. You wrecked our economy and you wrecked our way of life. What you did was basically say, compel or get vaxxed. You wrecked everyone's trust. You wrecked everyone's chances of making money. You wrecked, essentially, our economy and a way of life within two years. Within those two years, we told you guys that this is was a bad idea. But what happened? Well... Let's, let's, let's say, okay, let's remember this. You shut down the economy, and what did it do? Oil prices went down. And then the government started giving out stimmy checks. By the way, that was Trump's dumb dumb idea, by the way. So let's, let's be honest. Trump's One of the Trump's dumbest ideas was give stimmy checks. That shot up inflation up to eight to nine percent the cpi is like what eight and nine eight or nine percent really if you really want to think about it if you want to measure inflation the way it was it was measured back in 1982 it'd be 18 19 percent more or less imagine that if we actually measured it the way we honestly measure it now we'd be fucked as a country we would be no different from fucking venezuela but anyway you wrecked our economy. Inflation went up. Not only that, you tried to coerce coerce everyone to take the vaccine or else we would lose our jobs. Shit, I know people who lost their jobs because they didn't want to take the take the jab. And they lost their jobs. And they're trying to figure out how to get that back. And it doesn't seem to be working out. Well, not only that, it effectively hurt our trust. Now, the people who are, uh, how should I say this, who hated Trump in the, in the first place, decided to basically tell everyone to take, the, to take their moral high ground. Fuck you. Fuck you. We should now say not now we should just turn the other way and say, oh sorry. Sorry, no, fuck you. Fuck you. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. We lost economic activity for two I mean two and a half years. And then we're still trying to fight inflation, but the Fed won't even at some point is gonna have to pivot. Because the the bond market is gonna crash. Our stock market will crash. The dollar will collapse. Eventually, it's going to have to go back to becoming the part of the gold standard. We left that behind in August 1971. Not only that, the Saudis, they turned our they, they turned our back on this. Like last year when they didn't want to uh, take us off the petrodollar. How, what the fuck are we going to do now? And by the way, next month we're going to be out of diesel fuel. Because of this fucking in, because of these last two years, we're about to run out of diesel fuel, and we don't know where we're gonna get any fuel. It's gonna be like a fucking Mad Max movie. Because you people decided to fucking run roughshod all over, over all of us for this. Well, fuck you! You're not gonna get the sorry. You're not gonna get the apology that you want from us. You wrecked our economy. You wrecked our economy just because you want us to get poked. It's not going to happen, man. It's not going to fucking happen. Our dollar is about to collapse. The stock market is about to collapse. The bond market is about to collapse. What's there, what's there to look at? I mean, our economy is going to be look is going to look completely fucking different. Inflation won't go down either. It's going to... Our economy's gonna look completely fucking different in two years. 
That's if some of us survive it. That's if we survive the recession. What about the inflation? Are we going to survive that? Maybe not, because it'll probably go up to 9%, 10%. Shit, it might run away from us. If, if, if you know, it, there's a chance that we might end up with hyperinflation. All because, you know, all because we had to shut down the fucking economy and get locked up in, in, in our houses. Some of us are pretty lucky to, to work to work at our job site but we had to wear a fucking mask that was even worse to 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 think oh let's put on let's put on a mask that that doesn't even help the jab doesn't help the mask doesn't help this is what you fuckers wanted two and two and a half years of this shit now you say oh we're sorry it just didn't you know pan out the way we thought it would fuck you fuck you You don't have much of an answer for economic collapse, but you sure did have a fucking idea how to run our micromanager our fucking lives. Uh-uh. Fuck you. See you guys next time.